often when we hear teachings, uh, sometimes a phrase or a sentence or something really strikes a home. I don't know if others have that, but sometimes it just you know smacks you. And this uh, recently, Venerable Children gave a motivation which uh, did that for me. Here's what she said. Um, it's not. Uh, it's kind of paraphrased, but. Sometimes we think we will benefit others by correcting their behavior. The mind of, I'm going to fix people. But doing it out of compassion. But that's not compassion. In compassion, there has to be some acceptance of where people are at. So I need to start with investigating why I, am, why I am not accepting the person where they are. We may pretend to be compassionate, but when we are picking faults in others, our mental state is not a virtuous one. It doesn't mean we don't try to help people, but we have to help without a judgmental mind. So what really struck me uh, with this uh, motivation was the question, why am I not accepting the person for where they are at? So I've been thinking about that all week. And so I've been using the COVID situation to work with this, um, and uh, mostly around how I am reacting to those who don't get the vaccination. Um, I have a big reaction to that, I will tell you. <laughs> So I'll just give you an update on what's going on with the COVID now in this, uh, this country. So in the news, it reported that federal health officials sounded an alarm Friday about a surge in U.S. coronavirus infections fueled by the twin threats posed by the highly transmissible uh, Delta variant and a stagnation in efforts to vaccinate as many Americans as possible. During a White House briefing, uh, Rochelle Walensky, director of the CDC, said the seven-day average of coronavirus infections soared nearly 70% in one week, 7070, to about 26,300 cases a day. The seven-day average for hospitalization has increased, too, climbing about 36% from the previous seven-day period. She continued, there is a clear message that is coming through. This is becoming a pandemic of the unvaccinated. We are seeing outbreaks of cases in parts of the country that have low vaccination coverage because unvaccinated people are at risk and communities that are fully vaccinated are generally faring well. More than 97% of hospitalizations are among those who are unvaccinated. And almost all COVID-19 deaths, which climbed 26% in the past week, are among people who have not received a shot. Each COVID-19 death is tragic, and those happening now are even more tragic because they are preventable. So how do I work with my judgmental mind around this? The answer is acceptance. And it comes back to, we all want happiness and none of us want to suffer. Now we say that a lot, I say that a lot. But it's starting now to mean something uh, after thinking about this. It's hard to have acceptance because, at least for me, I feel like acceptance is the same thing as being in agreement. And this brings up fear and anxiety for me. So when I feel that, then uh, my usual response is to shut down um, from that fear from accepting their choice. And so under this fear, there's pain. And that's what comes with acceptance often, this pain. And the problem with a lack of acceptance is when I try not to feel pain, I'm also shutting down my ability to feel joy and happiness because I'm shutting my emotions down. 
So this creates a lot of problems. It does not work. It doesn't work at all. Mm -hmm. So what to do? So I thought maybe we could do just a brief little meditation on this. So you can close your eyes, relax your body, sit up straight in the chair, connect to your breath. So now think of a person choosing to not get the vaccine. Just allow your reaction, your emotions to come forward. Feel your emotions. Now we'll go a step further with this person. Not only did they choose not to get the vaccine, but they got COVID and they got sick. And feel the pain of that. Now think to yourself, I care about this suffering. May I be free of suffering. Say that in your mind. I care about this suffering. May I be free of suffering. Now turn your attention to the person who chooses to not get vaccinated. All the pain and difficulties that brings. And think, I care about your suffering. May you be free from suffering. When I remember that other people feel the same kind of fear and pain that I do, I can feel connected to them. I can feel that we are not alone in our pain. We may have different kinds of pain, but we all have pain. We're all connected through our vulnerability. So you can come out of your meditation now. Now this may take a few times to actually connect with your own pain. Um, it did for me. Uh, I have a lot more practice not getting in touch with it. Um, so you, we may have to practice this for some time. But without a genuine willingness to let in the suffering of others, I think our spiritual practice um, is a bit empty. And the doorway is recognizing our pain first, then connecting to the other's pain. And when we do that, all of these um, judgments and all of the I'm right and you're wrong, baloney, just drop away because we're connecting to another living being. We all want happiness and none of us want to suffer. 